Hi everyone, Miss Laura here. Today is Thursday, November 19th, and we are going to start our lesson with our favorite Here Today song. Ready? My friends are here today. My friends are here today. Jump up and down and turn around. My friends are here today. One more time, ready? My friends are here today. My friends are here today. Jump up and down and turn around. My friends are here today. Yay! Okay, and like I said, today is Thursday, November 19th. So can we get our fingers ready and we'll count to 19 together? This is a really high number, so we'll go slow. Ready? Get your fingers ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Very good friends. 19 is a one and a nine. Do you see those numbers? One, nine. Okay. We are going to check the weather. It has been so cold outside. I had to wear my big warm puffy jacket this morning and a hat. Let's sing our weather song, ready? What's the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather like today? Is it sunny, is it windy, is it rainy out today? Friends, what's the weather? It is cold and a little bit cloudy outside right now where I am. What is the weather like where you are? Go ahead and go out to the window and check. Next, we are going to sing our ABCs. Are we ready for that? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Good singing, friends. Our book for today is a really cute one. It is called I Love You, Stinky Face. So let's put our book on. Oh, we need to sing our book song first. Ready? Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. It's time to sit. I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Okay, friends, here is our book. It is called, I Love You, Stinky Face. Here we go. I love you, Stinky Face. I love you, my wonderful child, said Mama as she tucked me in. But I had a question. Mama, what if I were a big, scary ape? Would you still love me then? If you were a big scary ape. I would comb your whole hairy self to make sure you didn't have any tangles. And I would make your birthday cake out of bananas. And I would tell you, I love you, my big scary ape. But mama, but mama, what if I were a super smelly skunk and I smelled so bad that my name was Stinky Face? Then I would give you a bath and sprinkle you with sweet smelling powder. And if you still smelled bad, I wouldn't mind. And I would hug you tight and whisper in your ear, I love you, stinky face. But mama, but mama, what if I were an alligator with 
big, sharp teeth that could bite your head off. Then I would buy you a bigger toothbrush for your big teeth and make sure that you brush them every night so they'd stay healthy and strong. And if you had a sore throat, I would stick my head right inside your ginormous jaws to make sure you were okay. And I would say, I love you, my ferocious alligator. But mama, what if I were a terrible meat-eating dinosaur with razor sharp claws that ripped my sheets to shreds every night while I slept? Then I would give you plenty of meat to eat, if that's what you liked. And I would sew your sheets back together every day because after all, ripping them would be an accident. And I would tuck you into your newly mended sheets every night and say, I love you, my sweet, terrible dinosaur. But mama, but mama, what if I were a swamp creature with slimy, smelly seaweed hanging from my body and I couldn't ever leave the swamp or I will die? Then I would build you a house right next to the swamp and I would stay with you and take care of you always. And when you splash to the surface, I would say, I love you, my slimy little swamp monster. But mama, but mama, what if I were a green alien from Mars and I ate bugs instead of peanut butter? Then I would dress you in colors that showed off your nice green skin and I would pack your lunchbox with beetles and spiders and ants and grasshoppers and the tastiest bugs you've ever had. And I would pack a note with all the bugs that said, I love you, little greenie, bon appetit. But mama, but mama, what if I were a cyclops? and I had just one big gigantic eye in the middle of my head. Then I would look right into your gigantic eye and say, I love you, my little cyclops. And I would sing you a lullaby until your one gigantic eyelid got droopier and droopier and it finally closed and you fell fast asleep. I love you, mama. And I love you, my wonderful child. The, the end. What did you think of that book? That mommy really loves her little baby stinky face, doesn't she? I really like that book. The mom keeps telling the little child that she loves him so, so, so much. And I really like that book. Okay. The next thing we have to do today is some art. I had a lot of fun this morning making this art project and I know that you will too. What I started off with was a paper towel roll and I cut it into pieces and I used paper to make my family's clothes and stickers but you can paint on the tubes but i made a daddy and a daughter a mommy little boy and a baby take a look here <gasps> look at the family i made here do you see a mommy and a daddy and some kids here i want you to make Family that looks like yours out of these paper towel holders. You can use a, a marker to draw, draw on the smiles and the eyes. And then you can play. You can pretend that they're all eating dinner together or reading a book together, maybe going to the park. So I made these and then I can't wait to see what kind of family you make with your art supplies.
Okay. We also have a nutrition activity to do today. And it is all about banana paste. So what you are going to do to make the banana paste is you are going to take a banana, cut the banana into small pieces, and you wanna make sure mom or dad or grandma or grandpa's helping you cut up that banana. Um, and then you're going to put all of those pieces in a bowl and you are going to either smash up the bananas with, you can use your hands or a fork, or you can put them into a blender and you add a little bit of milk, mix that all in too. And then you'll have a thick and creamy banana paste. It will look something like this. Okay. And then you can put it on to crackers or bread and you have a yummy yummy snack okay and that's a healthy snack for you to eat too all right friends thank you so much for learning with me today bye bye